Giant cracks are opening on the earth, and we humans are directly to blame for this. Giant cracks began to form in the earth in many us regions. The worst part is that these huge cracks are not natural formations, and it seems that we humans are directly to blame. Across the southwestern United States, giant cracks are appearing in the Earth's surface. In south-central Arizona alone, 272 kilometers of these fissures have been mapped. These cracks are also seen in Utah, California, and Texas. These cracks are not natural formations, and we cause them to form, Joseph Cook from the Arizona Geological Survey told Insider. Subsidence, where the ground is displaced, is often the result of people trying to remove water from the ground, causing the water to become trapped and unstable. More than 80% of known land subsidence in the United States is a result of groundwater use, an often overlooked environmental consequence of our land and water use practices. The U.S. Geological Survey website states, Increased land development threatens to exacerbate existing land subsidence problems and initiate new ones, it says. Cracks appear where softer ground has collapsed, but nearby ground has not. These, just like sinkholes, can open very quickly. A recent New York Times investigation into groundwater use and the emergence of these cracks highlights a significant problem, showing that groundwater is being depleted faster than it is naturally replenished. Most of the water we extract from the ground is thousands of years old. Jason Groth, Deputy Director of Planning and Growth Management for Charles County, Maryland, told the New York Times. The rain that fell on Monday does not fill the groundwater on Saturday, he said. Groth believes the county could run out of water within a decade. The amount of groundwater harvested due to rising temperatures and drought could compensate for the loss of rainwater in areas such as agriculture. But this may only be a temporary solution. Wirigia Bowman, a law professor and water expert at the University of Tulsa, told the New York Times that, objectively speaking, this is a crisis. Parts of the United States will run out of drinking water, he said.